guys, what's up? So real quick, I wanted to make a video uh, about this issue we're seeing more and more on the 09 through 2014 F-150s with the 6R80 transmission, the six speed. Um, so as these vehicles are getting older and they're aging, maybe a little corrosion, vibration, uh, we're seeing a real issue with the transmission cooler lines just snapping. Even ones that aren't corroded, it's just like a vibration fatigue type thing and they're just snapping, all right? And they're big half inch lines on this transmission for extra cooling. Well, guess what? When that line snaps and it's pumping all that fluid through that big line, it's gonna empty out that transmission real quick. By the time you realize that you start slowing down because line pressure has dropped, uh, at least your torque converter is gonna be fried, if not the whole transmission, all right? And that's what happened to this one right here. So. And the transmission, the 6R80 is not cheap. So this guy's paying, I think, six grand. Uh, parts, labor, coolers, lines, all that stuff uh, just to fix this. All because the cooler broke. All right? The cooler lines. Otherwise, these transmissions, you know, I got some software issues, but they are great transmissions. So this is like the one fatal flaw, I guess you could say, of the 6R80, the Achilles heel of the 6R80. So let's start back at the trans, all right? So here's a transmission. That's how you can identify the six-speed on there. Usually it says 6R right there. You can see it on the side. Uh, it's a great transmission, like I said. It's not, you know, it's all solenoid-based. You maintain the fluid in there, this thing will reward you 200, 300,000 miles. But these lines go, look at the size of these lines on here, they're half inch. Uh, so when they pop and they're, they're wide open and broken, it's gonna empty the trans real quick and then a torque converter right after that is gonna burn it up. This one was burnt up big time. Um, so you can see on here, what I did is I actually, to drive it in, I filled it up um, and I went ahead and put this bypass line on there. I made a bypass line because this happens so often um, so here's the original cooler lines. They just bolt up to the side of the trans, a little 10 mil bolt up there. Uh, so I made this bypass out of an old set. I took off another vehicle with a hose. It just bypasses the rest of the lines going up where the leak is occurring. Um, and this will allow you to get the vehicle in the shop and stuff like that. So yeah, that's how, after, how often it happens that I had to make a special tool, quote unquote, uh, to address these and get them in the shop, pull them in. So what's happening is that the trans cool lines start right here in the driver's side of the trans. They wrap underneath the pan. They go over here. They go along the oil pan. And then they come up and they, they, they break off right here. So right here is the main cooler line set, okay? And then there's these little jumper pieces. And they're what those pieces actually go into the cooler and the radiator, okay? So it's a quick connect right here. And you can see, if I can get up in here, I'll just try to zoom, I'll bite zoom. So this right here is the quick connect, that's okay, all right? And then, so this quick connect's all aluminum, and then it goes into a steel, steel line. You can see it's all rusted up there. It's the aluminum quick connect that's actually fatiguing and breaking. You can see it right here. You see it? So when it pops, I mean, look at that. It's just pouring out big time. It's a good size line. So this is how it looks over here. So here's the two jumper lines right here. Let me zoom back out. Here's a jumper line that goes over, quick connect that goes into the main line bundle. And then here's the other one. And this is how the uh, bundle looks. All right, brand new bundle from Ford. Here's this transmission. So this is pretty much how it goes in. So it bolts inside the trans, wraps under the pan, goes along the oil pan, comes over here, and that's where they section it off to clip into the jumpers uh, to go into the auxiliary cooler or just the radiator as in this vehicle. And you can see it goes from steel, aluminum piece, right here for the crimp, crimp, and then here's the quick connect fitting with the, uh, the snap lock ring right here and the O-rings and all the other stuff, all right? So what happened on the other one is this big quick lock right here, this whole section actually broke off from where, where it was crimped onto in some fashion to uh, this section right here, which actually crimps onto the hose. 
So that's where it's breaking. It's the aluminum part, the fatigue part of it that's breaking. What's weird is that it must have been a metallurgy issue uh, because there's nothing really banging or yanking or flexing or stressing these lines out, okay? And there's this whole flexible section of it right here. So when the engine torques or whatever else, uh, it has the ability to move with it. There's nothing really restricting it to kind of work on it and snap it off. So it must have been a, like a metallurgy issue uh, on the original OEM lines from the factory. But again, this is where it always breaks. The steel line uh, back there, the coolers, it's never an issue. It's always right here up uh, just underneath the radiator. And it'll snap and it'll empty your, <laughs> your trans out real quick. And then it's, you know, big bucks time. So I am in the process of starting to pull this one out. I feel really bad for this guy. Uh, if, if anything, at least we're able to get a transmission for it um, because everything else in the world is on back order. So we're able to actually get a reman transmission from Ford on it, but man, it's gonna cost them big time, all because of a little line right there. Right there, yeah, so. That's all for now. I just wanted to let you guys know this. Uh, know about this issue that's happening. Like I said, it's not the steel part. You see, we got steel sections going up and over on this EcoBoost. They don't rot through. They're not an issue. It's the aluminum part right here. Cracks off and it's over after that. So it's a huge freaking mess too. That's all for now though. I'll see you guys later.